Curious George goes skiing. Would you like to learn how to ski today, George? Said the man with the yellow hat. There's a new ski lift opening. So off they went in their little blue car to the ski lift. A crowd of skiers were waiting at the bottom of the hill. The lift carried the people up to the top. From there, they could ski down and start all over. The owner looked worried. The trick skiers are not coming, he said. I don't know what I'll do. George's friend wanted to buy some tickets for the ski lift. You can look around, George, he said. Watch out for the skiers coming down and don't get into trouble. George looked around. Some workmen were building a refreshment stand. Nearby, there was a large rack full of skis. A skier would take a pair of skis, strap them on, ride up the ski lift, and ski down the hill. George was watching the skiers. Could he do it too? George was curious. He went to the rack and picked the smallest pair of skis. Then he tried to put them on. How did that go? He pressed the catch. Ouch! George jumped and nearly lost his balance and started sliding backwards. First slowly, then faster and faster, right toward another ski rack. Stop! cried one of the workmen. But George couldn't. He banged right into that lumber that they were using to build the refreshment stand. Who did that? shouted another workman. It's that monkey, someone else cried. And they all ran after George. George was scared. The skiers were getting on the ski lift. As it passed by, George jumped up and grabbed a chair. The lift was on its way up the mountain and the angry men were down below. When the lift was almost to the top, George jumped off. As soon as he landed, he started sliding down the trail. He wanted to stop, but he didn't know how. He skied down and disappeared into a clump of trees. The crowd was still waiting for the trick skiers. The owner had to tell them that there would not be a show today. Ladies and gentlemen, he began, here comes a monkey on skis, a little girl cried. Everyone looked up. George came speeding down over a big bump. He flew high into the air. The crowd held its breath. Luckily, George landed on his feet, then made a turn. Then, two more turns. George was getting closer to the big jump. There was no way to stop. He flew through the air. The crowd clapped and cheered. Hooray, they cried. What a trick. Just then, one of the workmen ran over. That's the monkey who made all the mess, he shouted. George was trapped. Wait, cried the owner as he rushed over, followed by the man with the yellow hat. George shouldn't have knocked over all that wood, but he did save the day with his tricks. How about one more? Someone in the crowd shouted. Before you do any more tricks, said the man with the yellow hat, you'd better take some lessons. You've had enough for one day. Let's go home. And that's just what they did.